What happens when the eye fails to form properly? Environmental and genetic signals instruct the eye to form. If there is a genetic change that disrupts these signals, a number of birth eye defects can arise, such as anophthalmia, microphthalmia and coloboma. In anophthalmia, children are born with either one eye or no eyes. This occurs when the genetic signals are disrupted and the eye stops developing. In microphthalmia, children are born with one or both eyes being smaller. Genetic changes can slow eye growth and cause a disordered structure which leads to sight loss, including corneal opacity, anterior segment dysgenesis, cataract, retinal dysplasia, optic nerve anomaly and coloboma. In coloboma, children are born with a gap in their eye. At week 5 of pregnancy, an opening forms on the underside of the eye called the optic fissure. It allows blood vessels to grow into the eye and supply nutrients. This opening usually fuses at week 7 of pregnancy, like a zipper. If there is a genetic change, the fissure will remain open. This is called a coloboma. It can affect the whole length of the eye, or just parts, leading to a variable amount of sight loss. These are just a few examples of birth eye defects caused by genetic changes. We are trying to understand how genetic changes cause these conditions in order to develop new treatments for our patients.